Hey folks, September's here and so are the Stripers out here on the California Delta. Grab one of your kids, grab your boss, or grab a high school buddy like I did. Tom Gorey from Livermore, California came out and fished with me this week. He's an old high school buddy of mine and he doesn't get to do this a whole lot. <laughs> oh, Tommy, that's a good one! There you go, bud! Yeah! Let's go, Gorey! So I just gave him a half ounce rattle trap in chrome and blue, a medium heavy rod, some 15 pound test monofilament, and let Tommy go to work on these jailbirds that are cruising through the system right now. That's a good one, Steve. That's a real nice fish. When you're out here chasing stripers on the California Delta in the fall, it's a great opportunity to get your kids out. There you go, you're on, you're on, Ry. The thing that you need to remember is stripers never sit still. They're like chasing a ghost. That's where a bait like a rattle trap, a half ounce rattle trap comes into play. You can take a rattle trap and you can eliminate a tremendous amount of dead, unproductive water in a very short period of time. Okay. Wine, 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 wine. There you go. There you go. Check some riprap, sandbars, weed edges, current breaks, edges of drop-offs, and ridges. All of these in close proximity to deep water will really help you find some of these awesome fish. Keep it up, just like that. Come on, Ryan. Just like that, just like that. Don't pull on him too hard. Oh. <laughs> He's up, buddy. He's up. That's all right, you're good. Just keep your rod right there. Don't bounce your rod up and down. Don't pull on him too hard, just stand there. Stand there, don't reel, don't reel, don't reel. Just stand there. If you've got okay. a youngster that has a tough time with a conventional or a level wind style reel, just give him a spinning rod and put some 20 and 30 pound braided line on it, a half ounce chrome and blue SY1 or crawdad pattern rattle trap, and let that kid go to work. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me see. What do you think, Chief? Hang on. Let your line go out. Don't reel anymore, okay? And everybody just kind of hang out right here. How's your picture? The highest picture would be. Okay. Okay, now I want you to put him right back in the water. Catching stripers on topwater baits is one of the things that I really love to do. Get you a big old stout rod like a Bobby's Perfect Rog Rod from Falcon. Get you a Delta Wood Bomber, a Black Dog Lunker Punker, or a, just a standard Zara Spook. Walk the dog across flats, ridges, wherever it may be out here on the California Delta, and you may get to tangle with one of the biggest gel birds in the pond. Just remember, if you start catching some of them big girls, remember to put them back. Oh my gosh, dude, this is 30. This is 30. This is 30. Just, just keep it tight. Just like that one. That's a giant. Just like that one. Do not pull on her anymore. Just let her run. This one's over 30. Yes. Ryan, just keep that fish. Just, just do your thing, buddy. Do not. Keep your rod up. Just keep your rod up. Keep your rod up. Oh my. Oh my God, Ryan. Just be cool, bud. Hang on. Hang on. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah. 
Oh my God, Ryan. That thing is huge. Oh. Start pounding on people. Yeah. Hey, folks, Bobby Barrick here in, at the 2014 iCast show in Orlando, Florida. I got old school Evan Evers right here with new school Chris Zaldane. Oh, oh, yeah. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's where we're I going with it. I've ever been called hey. old school again, but now, now. It's all good. Hey, on the, fly, on the flight over, I thought, you know, you read Bassmaster Magazine, FLW Magazine, they got all the same questions, all the same articles, and all that kind of stuff. I came up with questions that I want to ask you guys, and I want you guys to answer them, okay? Kind of quick, all right? So here it is. What is your favorite water temperature? 56. 61. What is your favorite hour of the day? And this is general. I mean, we're talking 10 months out of the year. From February until November 1st, what is your favorite hour of the day? No doubt, sunrise. They're, you know, right before sunrise, that is the most beautiful time of the day. I don't care fishing what, that's my most favorite time of the day. Okay, so let's say, I mean, the scenery all put aside and all that kind of stuff. How about fishing-wise, competitive fishing-wise, what is your favorite hour of the day? One o'clock. Whatever time that tide book says, incoming tide, the first hour <laughs> of the incoming. I'm from Oklahoma, we don't have tides here, buddy, so one o'clock's a good time for me. That's, that's great, those are two great, okay. What is your favorite season to fish out of the four seasons? Late winter. Technique. Jerk bait. Uh, late summer frogging and punching. Excellent. Two different styles. Two different. Two different parts of the country. Two different styles. I love this. This is awesome. Okay, here it is. First day of the Bassmasters Classic. You guys have a half hour left to fish. It might be an hour, two hour run. It might be fifteen minute run. You guys have a half hour left to fish. You got four fish in the box. What are you doing? It's the first day of the Bassmaster Classic. Not the last day when you're going for the fences. It's the first day of the Bassmaster Classic. You got four fish. You got 30 minutes left to fish. What are you doing to get to number five? You know, this year it's going to be on Hartwell, and I'm going to be throwing that Mega Bass 110 jerk bait over some, you know, tree or off the end of a dock. And, uh, you know, your first day, last day, it doesn't matter. You're still trying to win that tournament. So uh, I'm going to be looking for a big one on a, on a Mega Bass one jerk bait. Yeah, you know, the classic, a lot's on the line. It's easy to say I'm going to pick up that big flipping stick and try to get a big bite. But if I'm pressed for time, you know, the last 30 minutes it's winding down, I'm going to I'm going to spool up that six-pound test and probably throw some kind of a wacky worm. That is awesome. That's that's two different spectrums that, that you got to hear from. Ask the two of the best bass fishermen in the United States, Edwin Evers, Chris Aldane. I appreciate your guys' time. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, that was great. Thanks, guys.